Hey everyone, this is Trevor with HustlePaintball.com in association with Tech Paintball. And today I have a video for you on their Fang Trigger for the old X7 and A5 Hall Effect E Grip kits. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and uh, show you how to install it. So here you can see the Fang Trigger and its packaging. Uh, as always, you know, Tech is just known for making the best looking packaging in the business. Uh, it's just another reason what draws you to their products in the first place. So let's just go ahead and open it up and show you what go comes inside of it. We have the new double trigger guard here, which is really, really sweet because it's really flexible and it's not gonna break on you. The Fang Trigger itself, and then some extra parts. Uh, you have a pin for the trigger assembly, couple of adjustment screws, and then three spring, three trigger springs with a varying resistance. So uh, let's go ahead and get this installed. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually remove the grip frame itself. So I'm going to unscrew these two bolts here to remove the ASA from it, and then I'm gonna remove the two push pins right there uh, to actually remove the grip frame. So I'm gonna get that done, and then we're gonna actually install it. Now, before I install this fang trigger, I need to tell you exactly what all the different parts that come with it do. So obviously we have the trigger, that's pretty self-explanatory. Inside of this little Ziploc bag, we have quite a few little parts. First thing, is the little silver pin that comes with it. Uh, this is actually what goes inside of the ball bearing on the trigger. You need to switch out the trigger pin with this one or else it, it may cause issues with the ball bearing. It is made specifically to fit with that ball bearing. Next, we have three springs, all with different kinds of tension. So you have a stronger one, mid-range, and then the lightest. This is great because it really just provides you a way to really customize your trigger and what you want with your marker. Lastly, we have three adjustment screws. Uh, the two main ones that we're going to be using today are this long one, which adjusts the forward slop of the trigger, and then the short one, which adjusts the back slop of the trigger. It has a little green tab on it, which I'm not sure if you can see. We have this new camera, but it's still really, really quite small. Um, the green tab is just to make it so it has kind of a uh, softer attack on the grip frame, if you will. Um, and then pretty much the exact same thing just without the green tab if you don't really care and you just want it to stop when you want it to stop. So those are all the different parts that go with the trigger. Now what I need to do is remove the grip frame from the A5 and install the trigger itself. Now that I have the grip frame off, pulling out the trigger assembly is as easy as just straight up removing the safety and your trigger frame pops out. Now to install the fang trigger itself all you need to do is pull off the one of the halves of the trigger frame right here and you can see that it opens up the whole assembly. To install the trigger itself we need to just remove the stock trigger make sure your, your spring does not fly all over the place the pin that I was talking about earlier, we want to remove that. The easiest way to do it, because they're knurled on the back, is actually to push out. And that just flew off the table, so you want to be careful with that. Now, we need to take our other pin that was provided in the package, like so. And same thing, it's also knurled, so you want to actually push it in through the back like that. To really make it flush, just push it down on the table and you'll be good to go. Now we can just take our fang trigger right here, slide it on there, and uh, I am a fan of an extremely light trigger pull, so I'm going to be using the light spring that they provided in the kit. And you just want to, this one, as I remember with the Phenom trigger, is really kind of tough to make fit in there. Um, you kind of have to get it just right because it's so light, it has an issue getting in there, but I got it in. As you can see, it is actuating just fine. So now, just put on your other half, and you have your trigger assembly back together. 
Now, of course, I can't go ahead and rightly install that without changing out the trigger guard. So I'm going to go ahead and just start unscrewing all of these different screws with my tools, pull apart the trigger assembly, and I'll show you how to install the double trigger guard. Now that I have all those pieces removed, I'm going to just remove the battery door here, and it's as easy as just straight up pulling your grip frame apart. And now I just need to grab the double trigger guard. It installs just that easily. All you need to do is get the other grip half put on there. The magnet keeps falling out on me, so I'm going to have to actually put it in on that end before I just put it back together. There we go. Now I'm going to get all those pieces put back in there, and we're going to install this on the gun and uh, show you just how well it works. Now we have the grip frame pull fully put back together. What we need to do is install the trigger assembly back in it, but there's some important things I need to show you first. Those adjustment screws that I showed you about earlier, I have now installed the one with the green tab or the shorter one. I have installed right here and you know to change its position and adjust your back slop, all you need to do is twist it clockwise or counterclockwise like a regular screw and make your adjustments from there. The other one, the longer one that adjusts the forward slop, you go in through here. Now, the important information with this one is that the trigger assembly actually has to be outside of the grip frame for you to be able to adjust it. So this one is going to be one that you kind of want to set and take care of and be done with because it's just kind of a hassle to get to it. It's really not that bad considering how easy it is to get inside of the grip frame or more rather get the trigger assembly out of the marker, but you know it just requires a little extra work than this one. After that, let's go ahead and just install it in the grip frame. Just as easy as it is to take it out, it's as easy to put it back in. You just plop it right in there, stick your selector switch right back in, and we have it fully installed. Now all I need to do is put a battery in the grip frame, and we're going to uh, show you how well it works. We now have the Tech Fang Trigger installed in my A5 Hall Effect Electronic. I have it turned on and aired up, so let's just go ahead and take a couple of shots off with it. And now I'm just going to uh, rip the trigger a little bit. That is on semi-automatic. Uh, you could tell there was a bit of a jump there. It wasn't completely consistent. Uh, that's because there is a limitation of the A5. You do have to have the trigger almost 100% at the back for it to be able to actuate. And uh, that just doesn't usually happen when you're walking the trigger. Uh, you need something a little more sensitive than that. You still can rip it really, really well and have the amount of control that is required uh, for a lot of paintball players out there. This is easily, easily the best double trigger for any A5 or the older X7s out there. And if you want one, you should definitely get this one. Um, with that said, Tect is an amazing company. You guys should check this out. Uh, not only does this product, but all their other products come with a limited lifetime warranty and all of their products are made in the USA. You can check them out at techpaintball.com or you can like them on facebook.com slash techpaintball and follow them on Twitter at twitter.com slash techpaintball. If you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and send us an email at videos at hustlepaintball.com or log on to pbriot.com and see what the community has to say. And remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, read our blog, and you can get this gear or anything else that you need at hustlepaintball.com. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.